The formation of aluminum fluoride. In the aluminum atom, there are three electrons in the outer electron shell. It takes less energy for aluminum to donate that three electrons than it does to accept five more electrons to fill the outer shell. If aluminum loses three electrons, it now has 13 protons, 14 neutrons and only 10 electrons, leaving it with an overall charge of plus three. It is now referred to as aluminum cation. The fluorine has seven electrons in its outer shell. Again, it is more energy efficient for fluorine to gain one electron than to last seven. Therefore, it tends to gain an electron to create an ion with nine protons, ten neutrons and ten electrons, giving it a net charge of minus one. It is now referred to as a fluoride ion. In this example, aluminum will donate its three electrons to empty its shell and three fluorine atoms will accept that three electrons to fill its shells. The four ions now satisfy the octet rule and have complete outermost shells. These transactions can normally and take place simultaneously. In order for a aluminum atom to last three electrons, it must be in the presence of a suitable receiver like the fluorine atoms. Ionic bond with dot structure If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon.